Hey guys, Equinox here, and this is going to be a beta video just going over right before M Plus testing Aspect of Harmony versus Shadow Pan. Pros and cons of both. Um, video in the background is just me testing Mass Aspect of Harmony with uh, Jack and Humanity. So, just going to go over it really quick. First, Aspect of Harmony pros. Extremely high single target damage, really good uh, funnel, and by funnel I mean the more AoE targets you have, the more single target you damage you do because of how Vitality is generated, and Vitality is basically all the damage you deal is stored into Vitality, it's a little buff on your bar, and when you press Celestial Brew it expels it, and it expels it more on one target you're targeting, so that the target you're hitting gets a higher percent of the damage done uh, with the Vitality, so that's why it's funnel, you get more single target uh, the more vitality you have and the more vitality you get is from the more damage you deal and more targets So yeah I go hand in hand that also has a more synergistic kit and by synergistic I mean the talent balance stratagem which makes your physical spells and abilities increase the damage of your fire and nature spells and vice versa So that basically just means your kit has full synergy rising sun kick uh, keg smash bio keg buffs, buffs breath of fire and exploding an exploding keg, breath of fire, buff keg smash, black oak kick, rising sun kick, tiger palm. So basically, it just goes hand in hand. And it also means your single target abilities cleave. And there's a talent called Overwhelming Force, rising sun kick, black kick, and tiger palm deal 15% increased or uh, additional damage to enemies in a line in front of you. So that means you get a little bit extra AoE when you cleave. So that means you can prio or when you single target. So that means you can prio damage and not lose too much AoE for it. That's a really good, really good talent and makes us better for timers in the dungeon. And by timers, I mean like prio damage usually reduces timers more. But yeah, that's a whole nother video. But yeah, really good aspect of uh, Harmony Pros. The uh, cons of it right now. Literally, the only con is just that balance stratagem doesn't work properly, and by that I mean Black of Kick does not generate or consume stacks of this, uh, Spinning Crank it does not generate or consume stacks, and Exploding Kick does not generate or consume stacks, so that means you're missing out on a lot of damage, and yeah, it's pretty much the only bad side. Um, I guess the other downside is that Celestial Brew also is tied to your damage, so having a defensive ability a tied to your uh, damage is kind of not great. Um, health wise for your kit but it works out pretty good considering the timing on when you use Celestial Brew usually lines up with high vitality but we'll see in M plus testing we'll have a huge video going over all that after M plus testing so yeah pretty high pros for Master of Harmony uh, really like it and the cons like I said it's just bugged and again ties your defensive utility to your offensive now let's go over Shadow Pan. So first pros of Shadow Pan, it has a really high synergy with your tier set. Our tier set increases uh, keg smash damage by 20% and black keg damage by 20% and also gives us um, chances to reset keg smash. And now that's really good because the Shadow Pan tree gives us 45% additional damage to keg smash, 30% in one talent, and then 15% in another talent. And yeah, just uh, that's really good synergy. Uh, we also ignore 10% more armor, and we get a bunch of haste, and this is pretty much a 100% uptime haste. This is actually really nice, um, because the base haste makes the rotation a lot smoother, you can use more spinning crank kicks, more tiger palms, and you don't have to have stuff like rushing jade wind to fill globals while you to keep regen your energy. So I really like that, and you also have a good defensive benefit, which is just a perma 10% uh, DR, just awesome, like I really like that. The cons of the Shadow Pan are pretty high, unfortunately. One, Flurry Strikes is just super undertuned damage-wise, and it takes too long to proc. And by it takes too long to proc, I mean it just... Uh, so basically how it works is dealing damage equal to 100% of your max health generates one charge for each 400 energy you spend, unleash all Flurry Charges. So, not only do you have to get 10 stacks of Flurry Charge to proc your Capstone, which I'll go over in a second, but you also have to spend 400 energy. 400 energy is a lot of spells. It takes a long time to activate. So... This is just has way too high of a threshold, needs reduced, and I think that's really the main issue. It's just Flurry Strikes, and it's the way it works is too undertuned right now. But um, the other issue is Wisdom of the Wall. This is the capstone I was referring to. Every 10 Flurry Strikes, you get one buff of Wisdom of the Wall for 20 seconds. The buffs are crit damage increased by 30%, dodge and crit strike chance increased by 25% of your verse bonus, Flurry Strikes deal 74 K shadow damage to all controlled enemies in the six yards. This obviously scales, and then effect of your master increased by 25%. These are all pretty low effort, like low benefit buffs. I'd say crit strike damage is probably the best one out of all these. 
The Flurry Strikes buff is quite literally useless. You cannot proc this within the 20 seconds. It's not. It's literally not possible. You cannot proc this. This needs changed. Um, this needs to be like a permanent like buff or something. Like, yeah, I don't know. It's just uh, it's just not possible to proc. So the Threshold on Flurry Strikes needs heavily reduced right now. It does not have much synergy with the rest of your kit. Uh, within the Shadow Pan Talent Tree, it's just very low impact. Pretty much the only reason you go Shadow Pan is just because it has an insane benefit with your tier set. That's literally it. Otherwise, Aspect of Harmony is strictly better in every sense of the every sense of the way. So, overall, my thoughts are going to plus testing. Aspect of Harmony will be the main focus. We're going to see the class limits, the class damage limits, the survivability limits, and stuff like that. We will obviously still be testing Shadow Pan to see how far behind it really is. But yeah, those those are pretty much the main issues. It's just too too hard to proc Shadow Pan right now, and uh, if that gets reworked, it could be very competitive. And they're really close to making them competitive. They're so close. They just have to fix Flurry Strikes, and it will have two very competitive uh, trees, and that's exactly what we want. But yeah, see you guys in uh, M Plus testing. If you guys want to see specific tanks, I'm gonna be making videos on all six tanks going into M Plus testing. So if you want to see a specific one. Um, let me know. I'm going to be going over all the hero talents for those two. So, like I said, let me know if you guys are going to see, and I'll see you then.